Uh, letter number one. These are, by the way, these are actual letters from actual viewers. Uh, Dear Dave, could you please ask Biff how, how I, too, can become a chick magnet <laughs> like him? Johnny Haygood from uh, Columbia. Uh, talking about uh, one of our stage managers, uh, Biff Henderson. And I know the ladies love Biff Henderson, and the question is, how, how can you become a Biff magnet like uh, a Biff magnet? <laughs> Biff magnet. Dengue fever. <laughs> a chick magnet. Black like Biff. Well, here, we put together a little videotape. Here's how. Roll it! Becoming a chick magnet is simply a matter of remembering three rules. Rule number one. Ladies love a man with great clothes. Rule number two. Always keep your breath messy fresh. Rule number three. Make sure you mention that you work for an extremely popular TV show on America's favorite network, CBS. By the way, you like that show Everybody Loves Raymond? I'm Raymond. That's how you become a Biff magnet. Or a chick magnet. Or a chicky Biff magnet. Or a Biffy chick magnet. Letter number two. Dear Dave, do you watch those uh, Fox Magic specials? Kathleen Malone, uh, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, you know, I, uh, you know uh, you're know, you not going to believe this, but I don't. Uh, we, but, you know, speaking of magicians, we had some, uh, some bonehead here in New York a couple of weeks ago. Uh, buried himself alive. <laughs> you know about this guy? Sure. Up on the Upper West Side, he buried himself alive for a couple of weeks, and then he, uh, I think we have videotape here, he's coming out. Look at him there. There he's coming out, he's been buried alive. Look at what they do. The first thing, after you've been buried alive, they hand you your shoes. There you go, son. <laughs> Slip into your shoes. You've been buried alive, my friend. Trying to get those shoes back on. And now, he's, uh, he's not stopping there. He's got another stunt that he's doing here in New York City, and this one is a little different. This one actually doesn't make any sense at all. Look, he's letting a truck roll over his head. He goes, and then it'll just back over. He's been doing that for four days. Yeah. I, it wouldn't surprise me that when he, when he stops doing that, that he may need a soft cervical collar. Oh. Hard Possibly. on you. Uh -huh. Be hard yeah, on yeah. your neck. Uh -huh. <laughs> Letter number three, hey Dave, can you send me a big ass ham? Dave Brown, uh, Mission, uh, uh, British Columbia, Canada. And you know, we haven't really uh, given out the hams in years and years and no, years and years. The, the problem was people would get the hams and they, they don't understand that they contained perishable food matter. Sure. Ham. Actual ham. Ham don't last forever. No. Unless you get it at Rupert's, De at Rupert's Deli. Then I see. It, then you got a pretty good shot of it lasting forever. So, uh, uh, we stopped giving away the hams, yeah. but uh, this guy would like a big-ass ham, Dave Brown. Well, sure. Uh, we used to send the hams through the uh, uh, mail, but that always took so long. So, so now we've come up with a new state-of-the-art canned ham delivery system. Check this out. Watch this. Major? i got to say Major there. The gentleman that helped out in our little skit, Mike yeah. McEntee. You okay? That yeah, I'm hit okay. Hit right on the head. And then we had to go and get stitches or something. Uh, just a butterfly stitch. How, what does that mean? One butterfly. One stitch? butterfly right here. Yeah. How deep was it? Was it? Did you lose a lot of blood? Uh, a lot of blood. Uh, didn't go too deep. Yeah. Well, that's what it, with head wounds they always bleed like that. Right. You know? Right. But there's no chance. Uh, I mean, you, no chance of a lawsuit, right? <laughs> Uh, letter number four. Hey, Dave, what's the deal with you and uh, Cher? Cher, by the way, was nice enough to drop by on my birthday Monday night. That was, that was great. A lot of fun, wasn't it? A lot of cake out there. 
Uh, just curious, Mary Richardson, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you know, what's the deal with me and Cher? Cher, uh, well, if you had seen, how many of you saw the uh, Behind the Scenes VH1 special on Cher? Oh, yeah, Behind the Music. Yeah. Yeah. What is it called? Behind the Music. Behind, behind the, music. the Music. That's right. Yeah. Well, uh, they had a Behind the Music uh, uh, documentary on the VH1 the other night. And uh, if you had any questions about me and Cher, that would have answered all of them. Here, take a look. Here's the Behind the Music special. There's absolutely a little girl in there behind the, the share mask. She's so wonderful, tender, vulnerable. She's a good mom. There's nobody else really like her. One time, uh, Cher made this uh, music video, and you could, uh, you could sort of see her butt. <laughs> she was well, I think the time that we were together, it was about uh, a month and a half. Uh, it was heaven, and and I'm sure uh, Cher would tell you the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I just put it better than that and blow my brains out. It would have been a lot faster.